And Ty Law joins us on the Harbor One Hotline this morning. And Ty, I don't know if you were listening, but good news for you. There's an extra hundred bucks in the swear jar coming from Wiggy. <laughs> yeah, I heard I heard Wiggy done so then drop one on him and put something in the swear jar. I, mean, I, I, I missed it. I don't know. I already heard. Do I getting calls already, Wiggy? Guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For you. yeah, yeah. I, I had to drop one Wiggy, real quick. Wiggy became unhinged, um, and and we're trying to we're trying to reel we're trying to reel him back in. But listen, uh, how you, you all right, Curtis? <laughs> oh, I'm great. <laughs> Great day, okay. Ty. It's a great day to be a Patriot. Ty, he had a quick, okay. uh, during the break, he had a quick underwear change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Greg Hill, Captain Tough Guy. <laughs> um, listen, are are you shocked this morning? Uh, I can't say shocked because as the season was going on, I, I could see something was changing. You know, I didn't want to... Uh, I knew it wasn't. I knew it was going to be amicable. I knew it wasn't going to be a, just a straight firing. They're going to, you have to have a lot more respect for uh, Coach Belichick. But you know, as the week's going on at the end, you you you've seen it coming. You seen it was going to probably uh, part ways. You just didn't want to see it because he's been such a staple here. And what what, you, what could you say? You know, change could be good for for everyone right now. You know what I mean? But. Uh, I, I just hate to see Coach Belichick go. Now I think we can really appreciate him instead of talking about, um, you know, what he hasn't done. Let's talk about what he has done over the last 24 years and bringing six championships. And now he can really be recognized without any type of scrutiny as being the greatest coach of all time. What, when, it, when it comes to that, and I know it's soon, but what did he mean to you in your career? Man, he meant everything because – you know, one, he always held me accountable. And that's one thing about Coach Belichick. And he's, he's always going to put it to you straightforward. He wasn't trying to have a buddy-buddy type of relationship. You had to earn, you know, those extra minutes or those, that extra time as far as him giving you the attention that you might might want or need. You know what I mean? But he's going to do that hard-nosed coaching. So I always appreciated him, you know, about that. And, and I, I was fortunate enough to be able to have him early in my career as my position coach. You know what I mean? So I got to be with him on an everyday basis. And I, I was able to see the transition from being a DB coach, a position coach, to a head coach. I was a little shocked because I'm like, God damn, Bill, he done changed, man. What the hell? But I had to understand as a young player that he's a head coach now. He's just not our coach. He's just not in our defensive uh, back meeting room. You know what I mean? But what he's taught me is how to look at the game and study the game, anticipate things before they happen, because I was one of those type of guys th that I tried to cover every route, every time, no matter what. And I was exhausted after games. And Bill, he helped me slow down the game by studying, because I was never a, a film guy before Bill Belichick. I felt like I was better than you, and that was just my ego or whatever it was. Like, I ain't got to worry about you. You got to worry about me. But at the end of the day, uh, the game came to me through his coaching and him – sitting me down one-on-one -on -one and telling me this formation, anticipate this. He told me one time in New Orleans, and I will never forget the game. He said, Ty, if they run it from this formation, he said, God damn it, you better sit on it. He said, you better sit on it. And he said, if you get beat, he said, I'll take the blame. I said, so I can squat on this, and if I get beat, you're going to take the blame. He said, it's on me. Man, sure enough, it happened exactly like he was. I squatted on it, and I, I I didn't even back up, and I got an interception. Well, that's the type of play. That's, that's the type of coach that he was. Yeah, you know what I mean. Say, so I'll take the blame, and I'm telling you exactly what to do. And a lot of times, you don't trust a coach that never been out there. Damn it, you ain't never been out here playing this. <laughs> yeah, and, and Ty, the thing that and I always talk about is like Bill was so straightforward. Even though it sucks that, and I don't agree with the uh, Kraft's decision. I I still thought. That I still think that he could coach, and I wanted to see him coach here. The only, I guess, the only good thing now is it seems like he wants to continue coaching, and now it's really about where does Bill Belichick land, and now we could kind of watch him from afar and look at what he's able to do with a new team. It's going to be interesting because the way he has coached, and he's a, he has an old school mentality. Now I know being. A, a, a coach you have to adapt but this is a new age type of athlete right now you know what i mean this is the you know the 
24-hour, round-the-clock news cycle. It's the social media. People have their own platforms. You know, stuff usually doesn't – it doesn't stay in-house anymore like it used to, Wiggy. So mm-hmm. this is going to be another transition for him as well because at least he has some type of control, you know, somewhat – in the Patriots because the culture was already set. Now you're going somewhere else trying to create a new culture, which the players in general, it's just a new time as far as how they think about things. You know what I mean? As far as the money being made and just everything right now, everything is being scrutinized left and right. Nothing is left in house. So it's going to be an adjustment for coach Belichick too. But I think what we did uh, learn is that yes, you need a quarterback. And I think wherever coach Belichick goes, He's going to make sure that he has a quarterback that is tough, that he's not looking for, let's say, the typical, hey, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the second GM. I'm the, basically a lot of quarterbacks nowadays, I guess they try to be like they're the second GM, like they got some decision-making and all that kind of stuff. Yep. You know what I mean? That they have to run through them like if you're the star quarterback. You're probably not going to get that with Coach Belichick. You're not going to get that because he can always go back in his bag and say, I had Tom Brady, and you're not Tom Brady, so – this is how we're going to do it. And he ain't going to want to hear all that. So it's going to be interesting to see where he goes, one, with a, with, with a quarterback that gives some stability. And <clears throat> secondly, with the organization, are they going to let him create the contract, give him the money that he needs to get the, uh, the, the, the players in, and just kind of change the whole thing? I personally think that he's chasing the ghost. You're, you're chasing yourself. You don't need to go out there and do anything unless you really want to just coach. I don't think that he has to go out there and chase the record, but that might be a personal thing. 15 games, you know he's going to do that within two years. Is it that important? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's a, that's a Bill Belichick type of, uh, you know, only he can answer that. But I just think, like, he can walk away, and now we can just talk about how great he was and what he's done for everyone. I know everyone has a Bill Belichick story, how he touched them personally in some type of way, and he is by far – the greatest NFL coach of all time, period. Now we can sit there and and relish the greatness that he was. Ty, obviously big shoes to fill now, if you're Robert Kraft or or Jonathan Kraft. And the names that are getting thrown out, it's Gerard Mayo uh, as the lead, but then they're saying they're taking a look at Vrabel and Flores. I'm I'm sure all three could, could fit that role and could take the keys of this team, but in your mind, who would be the best fit? I'm still going to say Gerard Mayo. I think that uh, Gerard Mayo, one, you got to understand that he has that old school mentality. Gerard Mayo is a football savant when it comes to talking football. He will sit there and talk you to death all day uh, scheme-wise. What he think he can get out of players' toughness? And I think that is a great bridge instead of bringing in somebody totally new because, you know, the the organization, the Patriot, the so-called Patriot way, Gerard has been there. But yet he understands that this is a new league. These are new players. So he has that old school mentality, but I think he can, can relate, you know, to the, to the players now, especially being the type of player that he was. And I think that is the key, not just coaching football, being able to relate to the guys out there on the field and having certain expectations and still not coddle them, holding their damn hands. Gerard is not going to do that. Believe me, guys, if Gerard Mayo or Mike Vrabel, and let me put that in there, that was my teammate, would love to see one of those guys, but I think that they can bridge the gap the best out of anybody that they can bring in there to understand that, hey, this is the standard for the New England Patriots. We won championships. I won championships here, so I think it's more personal to those guys, too, to continue the success, you know, with New England. But Gerard being there right now, has a totally different coaching style than Bill, Bel- than Bill Belichick. Don't get me wrong. He's not trying to be Bill. I think a lot of other coaches uh, that coach under Bill try to mimic and be Bill. Maybe Josh McDaniel, yeah. Eric Mangino, whatever. They, they, they want to be Bill. You can't be Bill. Gerard is his own man. Mike Rabel is his own man. So I would love to see one of those guys take the helm because they're going to have so much respect within the locker room and from those players. And I think Gerard, he earned it. He earned it. He earned it. He's been there. Mike Rabel's going to get a job. And it, it, hey, let's, let's get them both. Hell, who's going to be the head coach? Let's get them both. Yeah. That you ain't know? happening. Uh, Mike Rabel could be the GM. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ty, Law, Ty Law is our guest. New England Patriots parting ways with Bill Belichick. 
a noon press conference scheduled with, with Bill and Robert Kraft. If Bill goes, Ty, and wins elsewhere, wins a Super Bowl elsewhere, what, if anything, does that do to Robert Kraft's legacy? I mean, Robert Kraft's legacy is already set, you know, anyway. You know, when he bought bought the team, what he was able to do, uh, you know, having Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, I mean, his – his Hall of Fame resume, the 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 value of the team, that's that's set in stone. And I don't think it's saying anything if he goes and do that because you have to do what's best for your team, you know, right now. All good things eventually will will come to an end. And you can't get any better than what the Patriots organization with Robert Kraft buying the team in nineteen ninety four, you know, hiring, you know, Bill Belichick and what they was able to accomplish, you know, in the, in the last 24 years, it's unprecedented. So I think that, you know, moving on, you're going to change at some point. So obviously this is the right time. He's the owner of the team, Bill Belichick, saying, you know what? I would think that he said, you know what, I'm going to walk away. He still wants to coach. So you know what? We're just not good and great together anymore, but that still don't mean that the Patriots can't be great. That doesn't mean that Bill Belichick can't go on and have success somewhere else. You know what I mean? Because their legacy is already cemented. And I just wish the team the best. I wish Coach Belichick the best. But if he's going to still coach, we're and he's going to get a job. I can guarantee you that. If he wants to coach Bill Belichick, and he's going to be choosy, but he will, can get any of these jobs out there if he wants it. Ty Law, it is interesting. We live in interesting times. Yeah. And thanks for taking the time this morning.